Hey, this is Angie for Happy Healthy Vegan. You guys wanted to know what I thought of Miley Cyrus. So recently, um, Miley Cyrus made a big announcement in Paper Magazine. Um, it was like a huge multiple page spread of all these, you know, crazy naked pictures. Um, but the whole thing starts out with this. Cyrus almost immediately starts talking about how she decided to become a vegan last year. She was touring the world in support of bangers, blah blah blah, when her beloved dog Floyd was mauled by a coyote. She quit consuming animal products almost immediately. She hasn't spoken much about the switch, but says that she's finally ready to be held accountable to be an example. So it sounds like Miley Cyrus is basically announcing that she's an ethical vegan, which would be amazing. So I set out to do some research, find out you know what she'd been eating and what kind of diet she's following, and I was really excited. Except a couple hours into my research, I was so disappointed that I'm not gonna lie, I went and crawled back in bed and pulled the covers up and thought I never want to come out again. But here I am, I'm gonna share what I found, not to be another harsh judgmental vegan, that's not what I'm interested in. I didn't set out to make this another Judgment Fest 2015 video, I have zero interest in judging people on how vegan or not they are, but since you guys want to know my opinion, the only way I can form an opinion is by getting more information. And once I got the more information, I was frankly bummed. I was just curious what she'd been eating. You know, I thought maybe she was aligned with a certain type of diet or she'd done some interviews or something. Uh, but really, the only information I really found out was from, you know, like blogs and gossip rags and her Instagram feed itself. So back in 2012, uh, Miley Cyrus had actually hit the news for being gluten and lactose intolerant. In fact, she tweeted, for everyone calling me anorexic, I have a gluten and lactose allergy. It's not about weight, it's about health. Gluten is crap. And then in November, she tweeted, worst tummy ache ever, no more lactose for me. A uh, PETA had actually gotten back to her and wanted to share a little bit of information with her. Miley Cyrus, breakout vegan? Miley Cyrus might be ditching dairy products and we're nodding our heads like yeah. Et cetera, et cetera, you can read the article. So, of course, Peta got their hopes up. They can't help it, right? So fast forward to 2014, November, and good old Daily Mail runs a big scathing expose on Miley Cyrus uh, partying and yellowing out in Australia when well, she's on a big Australia New Zealand tour and she's hanging with one of her besties and they're just Instagramming like crazy all the partying they're doing in her hotel room which includes eating a pizza. Now they didn't say what the pizza was. I guess there's always the outside chance that it was a gluten-free crust with a vegan cheese. We'll never know for sure. But they also posted a picture of her and her bestie munching down on a meat pie. What? So Miley Cyrus said that she stopped eating meat a year ago. I'm not sure I'm understanding. Now not to change the topic from pizza or meat pies, but also while she was on this tour, she was wearing these really elaborate costumes that were most definitely not cruelty free. <sighs> she was wearing like high cut leather bikinis with multiple different feathery jackets. That's not what an ethical vegan would be wearing. I hate to break the news, Miley. <sighs> Hashtag vegan fail. And in that same article, it shows her uh, in August at the VMAs wearing a head to toe leather outfit, a leather bandeau and leather high waisted pants. And it's like a leather purse and shoes and just, you know, the whole Beyonce type situation. And apparently after winning her VMA, she celebrated at In-N-Out Burger. What? Ugh, uh, hashtag vegan fail. So maybe you're saying, Angie, you're too harsh on her, baby steps, you know, she was just starting out as an ethical vegan and, you know, she didn't even announce it until this year, so, you know, she's probably doing better now. But no, in January of this year, 
It looks like she went completely bonkers for pepperoni pizza. So apparently she started dating Patrick Schwarzenegger, uh, who is a pizza restaurateur, so I suppose that could have a lot to do with it. But I just find it kind of disturbing that her entire bedroom is decked out in greasy, cheesy pepperoni pizza themes. Yes, her bed cover, her pillows, even two little doggy beds are all greasy, cheesy pepperoni pizza. And then there's like a banner that says good vibes. To me, that's bad vibes. She even has a onesie outfit. What's up with that? And remember that cute pig that she's posing with in the paper mag article? Well, that seems to be her own pet pig. I've seen quite a few pictures of the pig growing up over time in her Instagram feed, videos, birthday parties. She really seems to love her little piggy. But why did she take a picture of her pig nestled between two pepperoni pizza blankets? Does she not realize that pepperoni is made out of pigs? Okay, so just because she has a visual fetish for pepperoni pizza doesn't mean she's eating pepperoni pizza. Though there's been an awful lot of pictures of her eating pizza that does appear to have cow cheese on it. But even more disturbing is a picture of her and her friend eating Hawaiian pizza with ham on it. Ham is made out of pigs. And so is sausage, which she apparently was eating to start out the new year according to her own Instagram. Starting 2015 off right, I'm effing loving it. You can clearly see the word sausage on the paper. What's up with that? And the leather situation hasn't been handled either. She made the news in April of this year for wearing an extremely scandalous leather outfit at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, meeting her hero Joan Jett. I gotta say, this is just totally not cool, Miley. And recently it was announced that she's the new face of Max Viva Glam makeup line. And she's been doing a lot of promotion for it. And so of course I googled whether or not Mac makes vegan makeup. And boom. Peta says they don't. So I'm really just super duper confused how she could come out right after all of these things saying that she cares about the animals when so clearly she hasn't even begun to put thought into it. Sure, she's got a couple of Instagram photos from the last couple months eating, you know, a gluten-free vegan burger, a piece of broccoli, a baby corn, um, some other stuff that might be vegan food, but all this evidence is mounted up to it seeming a lot like she's only eating plant-based food to keep that ultra, ultra, ultra slim body and not because she cares about the animals. So I'm not trying to shame you, Miley. I'm just trying to get you to wake up a little bit to the mixed messages you're sending. It's great that you've got, you know, at least three dogs, it looks like, from your Instagram feed and a pig that you care for and that you have good relationships with, but let's extend that out. Get rid of the leather outfits, get rid of the feathers, get rid of all this pepperoni pizza stuff. Even if you are not eating pepperoni pizza anymore, and I really hope you're not, it just makes it seem glamorous to the world. Everyone looking at the Instagram feed sees constant pictures of pepperoni pizza, nonstop. I mean, I can't even count how many pepperoni pizza images there are on there. How would your poor piggy feel if he knew? So there you go, you guys. That's the information I found. That's how I feel about it. Not super happy right now. Um, leave your comments down below. Do you think that Miley still might come around and be a vegan ambassador? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, like the video if you're into it. Share it with a friend. Uh, stay subscribed for more vegan news, information, and so much more from Ryan and me here at Happy Healthy Vegan. And until next time, Keep it carb, keep it vegan, and keep it compassionate. I am tired 
I'm getting disappointed from these big vegan messages.